Total Pro Sports presents The 15 Dumbest Things That Athletes Have Done Off The Field Some professional athletes know how to do their jobs on and off the field. Really, the number one rule is to not do anything stupid that will get you in trouble. Unfortunately, lots of them don't learn their lessons and they commit such silly acts that they have either jeopardized, highlighted, or even ruined their careers. Here are the 15 dumbest things that athletes have done off the field. Number 15. Milan Lucic When he was with the Boston Bruins, Milan should have expected hecklers when he was in his home city of Vancouver. After all, his Bruins did beat the Canucks on their home ice in the 2011 Stanley Cup Final. In a 2013 game in Vancouver, the Canucks crushed the Bruins, and Lucic went downtown later that night. He got into a fight with a fan and claimed he wouldn't defend his city anymore. Lucic did nothing more than prove he's a hothead who can't take the trash talk. Number 14. Claude Giroux The Philadelphia Flyers superstar was arrested on Canada Day in 2014 for what he admitted was a failure and being humorous. Giroux grabbed a male police officer's butt and swore at him three times. I mean, what was the guy thinking? Number 13. Ray McDonald Former San Francisco 49er and Chicago Bear has done way too many dumb things off the field. It's hard to count. He's been arrested on multiple accounts for awful crimes, rape, domestic violence, child endangerment, and violating restraining orders. The man just never seemed to learn his lesson. They've all but ruined any chance of an NFL comeback. Number 12. Patrick Kane One of the NHL's elite players hasn't always been as smart off the ice as he is on the ice with his slick dangles and goals. Kane was arrested in the summer of 2009 after he and his cousin beat up a cab driver for reportedly not having 20 cents in change for them. That's right, an NHL superstar making millions a year beat up somebody on the job for just 20 cents. Unfortunately, that little money can't buy common sense. Number 11. Adrian Peterson Peterson ruined his reputation, fantasy football lives, and his own 2014 NFL season by committing a heinous act off the field. After his first game of the season, AP was indicted for recklessly injuring his four-year-old son after hitting him with a switchboard. He did avoid jail time, but he missed the rest of the Viking season, who went down the drain without him for the last 15 games. But really, how can you viciously beat a little kid like that? Number 12. Jaleel Okafor the third overall pick from 2015 has a lot of growing up to do for the Philadelphia 76ers. This team drafted him to make them better, not to embarrass them. Okafor beat up a heckling fan outside of a bar in Boston for mocking the 76ers' horrible start to the season. For what it's worth, he's six foot eleven. Can't he be the big man he is and just avoid conflict altogether? Not a good way to start off your career, buddy. Number 9. Black Sox Players The Chicago White Sox went 88 years without a World Series before winning it all in 2005. That long drought was thanks in large part to the eight Chicago White Sox players who took part in the infamous Black Sox scandal. Those players accepted bribes from gamblers to throw the 1919 World Series to the Cincinnati Reds. That they did. And because of that, those players were banned from baseball. And legendary shoeless Joe Jackson will likely never make the Baseball Hall of Fame because of it. Number 8. Kurt Schilling Schilling is one of the greatest MLB pitchers of all time, but it's safe to say that a curved ball was thrown at him and he struck out with an investment. He tried opening his own video game company, but all he did was lose $50 million worth of career earnings and went broke. Number 7. Latrell Sprewell Sprewell is infamous for three things. Number 1. Being an NBA player. Number 2. Choking his own head coach during a practice. And number 3. Having no common sense when managing money. The man rejected a three-year, $21 million contract because he said he had a family to feed. He then defaulted on a mortgage of his $1.5 million yacht, and one of his mansions got shut down because he couldn't make payments. How about less choking and more understanding money, Luttrell? Number 6. Alden Smith Smith has not been able to avoid the law. The one-time pro bowler has been suspended twice by the NFL for violating substance abuse and has had three DUIs. Falsely shouting out a bomb at an airport is also the dumbest thing you can do there. You almost wonder if he's getting paid to throw his career away. Number 5. Plexico Burris a Super Bowl hero for the New York Giants, Burris was one of the NFL's best wide receivers of all time. He also lacked plenty of common sense throughout his career. He shot himself in the foot at a bar and he didn't return to the NFL for three years. By the time he did, he was washed up. Nobody knows why an athlete would shoot himself in the foot. It appears that bullet went through his common sense. Number 4. Ray Rice Rice viciously assaulted his fiancée and beat her unconscious in an elevator and then dragged her body where the surveillance footage captured it all. Rice hasn't played in the NFL since this whole ordeal came to the public eye. It was an embarrassment in the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell for poorly handling the incident. I mean, how dumb can you be, Ray? Number 3. Michael Vick Do I need to explain this? 
One of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL history was having a great career with the Atlanta Falcons. Vic's dogfighting scandal rocked the NFL in so many ways. How could one of their stars treat animals so viciously? You know the rest. Vic missed two NFL seasons, comes back and has a good 2010 season, but never gets back on track to the player he was before his arrest. I'm honestly shocked about how he could think about doing that. Number 2. Ray Carruth When you hire a hitman to kill your wife, you're plain stupid and a sick-minded person. Former NFL player Ray Carruth did just that, but for him, it was embarrassing that his plan didn't go all the way through. His fiance Sharika Adams, was pregnant with their child. She was able to call 911 from her cell phone to report what had just happened. Carruth's in prison where he belongs, for that matter. And number 1. Aaron Hernandez What was he thinking? Aaron Hernandez was a Pro Bowl tight end for the New England Patriots and was in the midst of a $40 million-plus contract. Of course, he's in prison for life now for the murder of Odin Lloyd, who was dating the sister of Hernandez's fiance. Hernandez was also set to stand trial for a double homicide in Boston over an alleged accident of the two men spilling a drink on him at a bar. Yeah, this guy never, ever, ever learned anything except how to be one of the dumbest athletes in history. And that's it for the 15 dumbest things that athletes have done off the field. But as usual, we are not done with you yet. In the comments below, let us know, what is the dumbest thing you've ever seen an athlete do on the field? See, that was the twist. And for more cool videos, click subscribe.